to every agent you can possibly think of, and just hoping to God that they, you know, they, they, you know, send send your letter, send a response to your letter. Um, it's uh, it's a lot of swimming upstream. Oh yeah, That's basically what it boils down to. Yeah. Now, yeah, I've had a, a a writer on who used to write for like Star Trek, The Next Generation, mm. uh, for Babylon, and all that stuff. And he would come up with ideas, you know, and, you know, send it to him. And they go, oh, yeah. And they fly him out there. By the time they got done, it wasn't what he wrote, pretty much. But, you know, it uh, got his name out there all of a sudden Mm -hmm. where they kept calling him back, you know, for, you know, with ideas for, you know, uh, writing. But have you ever thought about turning this into a, a screenplay? Oh, absolutely. I, uh, I just don't know how to write a screenplay and my, and my son has always been too busy to help me with it, but, uh, I would like to do that. And, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, cause I think it would make a wonderful movie. Uh, and, uh, uh, but you know, you've got, again, when you write a screenplay, now you're going out and you're going to, you're going to pitch that door to door to everybody and his brother. Uh, and that's another exhausting process. Uh, I remember reading about how, when Sylvester Stallone first pitched Rocky, um, you know, he banged on every door in Hollywood, uh, every producer, every director, and nobody wanted to have anything to do with him. Uh, but he finally got somebody to say, well, yeah, okay, but you know, we want Paul Newman to play the the lead or whoever it was that they wanted to have in the lead. And, you know, so he had, you know, he had to fight like hell because they were trying to turn his little masterpiece into a, you know, into a a pile of hamburger. And, um, you know, but he finally, he won the battle. So he's one of the few that, that really won the battle, and he was able to keep the, the story intact. And, and, you know, we were blessed with Rocky, and unfortunately, all the sequels. <laughs> but uh, uh, but that is, uh, you know, it's a very, very draining process uh, doing the marketing. And, um, you know, and that's why you really need to hire somebody to do it for you. Uh, and if you're willing to put that kind of money into it, okay, you know, but... Uh, you know, I've only got so much left. <laughs> <You know? laughs> the older you get, the the least that you have. Well, again, yeah. Brian, tell again everybody the name of the book again, where they can find it, and your website uh, before I let you go here. Okay, it's Song of Atlantis is the name of the book, and it's available on Amazon in both paperback and Kindle editions, and it's got great reviews. So go on there and take a look. And I also have uh, a real nice website called uh, SongOfAtlantis dot com. And I've got, uh, you can find out a little bit about me and uh, get a book synopsis and uh, see what my inspirations were. And I've got some frequently asked questions that I've, uh, you know, put a lot of detail into uh, where I got the story ideas and character ideas from. So uh, I think you might in, in all enjoy the, uh, the website very much. Well, Brian, I want to thank you for coming on Night Dreams Talk Radio. It sounds like it'd be a really good read. And to the listeners out there, go check out his website. Go to Amazon. Check it out. You know, hey, his uh, fantasy of writing this book, you know, could be pretty much accurate about Atlantis being in the uh, Antarctica. Hey, my friend, I want to again thank you for being on Night Dreams. Thank you, Gary. I really appreciate it. It's been an honor. Okay, sir. You take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, just think about that. You know, that, uh, you know, as uh, Antarctica starts breaking up more and, and melting, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe that's where Antarctica has been all this time. Well, we'll soon find out. Hopefully, maybe even in my lifetime, and I'm an old fart right now. Well, anyway, our guest for tomorrow uh, is not being able to make it because he's traveling across the country. I guess parts of the country are having real bad weather. It caused some delays on catching a couple flights. So we're going to, Bill Bean uh, will be uh, rescheduled. He was going to be talking about Bigfoot, UFOs, and Mothman. But we had Troy Bacon coming on tomorrow talking about... uh, Well, aliens and UFOs and stuff like that. He'll be on from 7 to 9 p.m. tomorrow on Night Dreams Talk Radio. Everybody, have a good evening. We'll catch you tomorrow. And tell your friends about Night Dreams Talk Radio. And check out our web at www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. You can advertise your business on Night Dreams Talk Radio and you will be heard worldwide. Why not contact us at nightdreamstalkradio at gmail.com.
Our intro music is provided by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com.